me. It's Ann. I'm back. Yep. I know. I just keep coming back. I did bad penny thing. Anyway, yes, there is nothing up on the shelf in my, my palette holder because I've got all of my palettes down here. Somebody asked to see my eye makeup collection. Why? I don't know. There's not that really much of it, but they asked to see. So I've got it all pulled down, and in a couple of seconds, I'm going to readjust the camera angle so that it's pointing down here in front of me. And I'm going to pretty much start with the micro palettes that I have, like the, the, mini, the mini Nubian from Juvia's Place, that kind of stuff, and some of my singles. And we will see how we go from there. All right, let's see if we can get this camera. Yes, I keep looking over my shoulder because the camera is the, the picture is in okay not perfect but hey not perfect but neither am I all right, this is our mini Nubian. Now, I'm going to ask you guys to do me a favor since I'm doing this. If you have lots and lots of eyeshadow palettes, before you go out and pick up another new palette, I want you to go through your eyeshadow palettes and figure out what colors you've already got it is in that new palette. All right, this is my Winnie Leela from Natasha Denona. That's the one that I won. Okay, that helps a little bit, cuts down on some of the glare so you can see those end colors. Now, this is a really pretty palette, and I really love this little palette. But I'm not going to pay to replace it. I got it on a giveaway. Once it's done, it's done. Because, believe it or not, I have very similar colors in a bunch of other palettes. Now, this is my small BYS. See? BYS. And it's a neon. So, if you a palette you're looking at that's got neons, there you go. Now I've got two singles from Ace Beauté that I picked up because one of the ladies in my town, thank you Tracy, um, didn't want the ones that came in her Ipsy bag or was it BoxyCharm, I don't know, but I ended up with them because she didn't want them. And she was selling them off. We have ice latte and cotton candy. Got one. One is very pink. And one is kind of goldy. I used these two this morning putting my face on, so... And I used this Kaleidos single. It's kind of a bronzy green. And it's from the Diamond Foils line, and it's called Paradiso. And then I have two of my AOA baked eyeshadows. Penny Shush. And this one is called Saffron. It's kind of a red orange. And this one, which is also part of the stuff that's on my eyes for this morning, is called Dreamsicle. And it's kind of a pale orangey, creamy color. Now, do you see, start to see what I mean about the number of colors you actually have that have 
you know, that you've already got. And this is just with the small stuff and the singles. Now, this palette is my ColourPop collection and a couple of things out a couple of the other, like the Ipsy bags and that kind of stuff. This is an Ipsy bag piece. This is Profusion. This one's Profusion. So I've got, this is the, um, from the bomb, the tea time one that came in one of the Ipsy bags. So, yeah, you've got all kinds of colors in here. You've got mattes. You've got glitters. And I'll be right back after I mash the puppy. Alrighty, I think we're back now. And hopefully the puppy is happy. Okay, I've got all make, manner, and description of colors in this collection of palettes that there's not necessarily any reason to keep buying new palettes if I go through and look at what I've already got. Now, this one is called the Fantasy. If you look really closely, it's going to look to you pretty much like one of these expensive palettes that's come out. And it's going to look a whole lot like the mini version of that expensive palette that's already out. And this company, which is called Changeable, has been doing this fantasy palette since right after that big palette came out and doing it as a small. No, they are not calling it a by the name of the other palette. They did it completely separately as a more kind of a knockoff than a counterfeit. They didn't want to do the other one under the name of the designer. Now, this is my Morphe 35M that I was gifted. The lady that gifted it to me she had ended up with the black down here in the corner being broken when she first got it in. And Morphe replaced it. And she said, would you like it? And I said, oh, God, yes, please. So I've got all the rest of these colors. I've got blacks. Yes, it would have been nice to have the whole palette, but I've got blacks. That black does not keep this palette from being perfectly usable. Yes, some of the colors look a little dull and off because there's still some of the black dust in some of these. It's going to take a while before that's all gone. But the mats are fine. The shimmers are fine. The whole thing, I've got all these colors. And I'll guarantee you, I can match up some stuff based on what's in here and not have to worry about some of the other stuff that I would be missing from, say, like the Natasha Denona. I mean, there's this gorgeous purple here. There's this gorgeous purple here. There's this wine color here. There's a wine color here. Do you see what I'm getting at? Yeah, I might have to look at a couple of the palettes to find all the colors. But I'm not going to lose everything to, that, that, that I like that little Natasha Denona for once I run out of it. All right. This is that absolutely gorgeous Morphe Rainbow that they came out with. And again, I had somebody who, now I've known some, some of the people that I play with on YouTube. I've known them for years. And one of them is Miss Pink Sweets, Anya Stamper. She's my Morphe connection, big time. Um, she wanted me to have this because of a collaboration. And 
since she had a milky stool right there that, that opened up just before this came out, right next to where she lives, and I'm off of the boonies and whatever, she picked it up for me. No, wait, this was the this one was the giveaway that she did. And Angie from Fora Beauty won the brushes, I won the palette. But the other Morphe was definitely a, here, do you want this? You can have it. But if you look in here, that Natasha Denona, here's the, the, the gold. Right here's the gold. No, it's not identical, but it's close enough that I'm not going to cry. You've got people who go running and go, oh, look, a new neutral palette. And it's like, Honey, you know we've got neutral palettes. Okay, we know about Tarte and Rainforest of the Sea. This is volume three. Now, this palette is in some ways a real pain in the tuchus because there's only one matte shadow. One. That's it. Everything else is glitter. So... You're looking at shimmer, 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 shimmer. You've got one mat. But when you look at the selection, you don't have too much trouble finding stuff that will match up with other new palettes that you can then substitute and not have to necessarily buy every new palette that hits the, hits the street. All right, this one is a cookie, and this is one of their artistry palettes, and this one's called Peachy Queen. wonder if you could tell why it's called Peachy Queen. Now, this thing is wonderful if I'm looking for all kinds of pinks. I can pink it up. At some point, I might actually count all these palettes. All right, this is my other BYS. It's the Smoky. And it starts with a pale gray. This is not white. A pale gray and goes to charcoal. Absolutely charcoal black. There are shimmers. There are mattes. If you want to do a smoky eye, you got everything here and then some. All right, now, my one pure palette. This came in a Friendsgiving box with Mona, Miss My So-Called Life 1977. We traded. I make homemade foods a lot, and I can. I sent her a bunch, bunch of canned goods including jams and pie fillings, and she sent me makeup. And this particular pure set is wonderful. This is the, which one is this? Midnight Masquerade. So I've got four face pieces and six eyeshadows. These are some gorgeous colors. Yes, I'm trying to kill some of the glare so it's easier to actually see some of the colors. I've got a lot of sunlight coming in on one side, and it's, yeah. But there is no way that you cannot find something in a palette like this to help you put together a look that's actually based off a whole other palette. Now, this one is a beauty glazed piece. The, the name of the palette is Strelitzia, which it means star. Now, a lot of this is mattes. It's got a majority of mattes. The, the shimmers are a little lower on the numbers. Comes out pretty close. But it's just a good basic palette. Yeah, you've got a lot of neutrals in here, but 
But then you have more than just a pop of blue. You've got a couple of shades of blue. You've got a purple. You've got a green. You've got some red in here. So you've got colors you can work with to come up with all kinds of looks. Don't think you can't do it just because you don't have the latest and greatest. Now, this is a face candy. Yes, it's in a little tin, but it's face candy. And it's called the Sugar Palette. Now, this one, again, has got a lot of pinks in it. But it's also got things like licorice. And the licorice is a pretty interesting dark. There are browns. There are pinks. The blackberry tart is a deep purple. Blueberry pie. It's got blues and reds, but it's really, really dark. And you don't really see some of the colors until you get the shimmer wet. But you've got a lot to play with in this. No, it's not a really expensive palette. This is one of the less expensive brands that makes similar stuff. Now, these are some of my current favorites. The company is Delancey. Delancey has been around for a while. But not everybody pays attention because it's not a big designer. They make great color selections and really, really, really nice formulas. I love these. Yes, it looks a lot like the color pop, but it's not quite. The one thing with these, even though it looks a lot like the color pop, each one of these palettes only cost me 10 bucks. And there's enough crossover in these palettes to make up some of the ones that would be in the palettes they didn't, that we don't have a collection of. Now, when I did the Green Goddess collaboration the other day with the AAK girls, me and Angie and Kaylee, this is the main palette I used. If you've seen that video, you know that this is a decent formula. I had no trouble with it. I love each and every one of these Delanceys. No, I am not sponsored. No, I do not get PR. I've gotten one piece of PR my entire time that I've been on here, which I'm going into, let's see, it'll be August 2020 before I get to year two. Now, this is the Profusion Cheers that I picked up this winter because it was on sale at Rite Aid for the holiday. Take some of the glare off there. And I love this thing. The formula is great. The colors are beautiful. And it goes right back to the ones where I'm going, yeah, you could just pull it all together and do it this way. And yeah, Cageling. Cageling is a piece that I picked up on one of the um, AliExpress. Now, I have no idea what company really makes it because everything was in Chinese. But look at that. Look at the color story. Look at the colors. They're rich. They're pigmented. 
or delightful to work with. I have no idea if somebody was trying to do a knockoff. It's not a counterfeit of something, because if it was a counterfeit of something, I could probably figure out where the heck and what the heck it is, but all of the info that was on the exterior unit card is in Chinese. So, yeah. Aftershock. This is a bad habit piece. Bad habit pretty much went under when Shop Hush went under. Which is too bad because I kind of liked Shop Hush. They had a lot of the um, knockoff, not counterfeit, but knockoffs in their stuff. And Bad Habit was one of my favorites because their stuff was beautiful. It was densely pigmented, and it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm losing some of the sunlight, so this should be a little easier to see now. This is a highly pigmented palette. I love it. It's got some absolutely amazing colors. And I just barely touched this one down here. If you're looking at a new palette that's got just really dense, interesting colors, look for something like this. And if you've already picked up something like that, Go back and look at it again and see if you cannot create enough of the, you know, pull together enough of the colors from that fancy palette to be able to create the looks. Now, this one, it's called Dream State, and it's nothing but shimmer. Everything in here is shimmer. It's another bad habit piece. But every bit of it is shimmer. You can find gold, blue, green, silver, bronzes. Just about anything you can think of that you would want. I keep telling people to shop your stash. All right, the Paulina palette. This is another one that I got a hold of because somebody wanted me as part of a collaboration. Now, unfortunately, when it first got here, we had a little bit of a breakup on the lower one in the bottom right corner. However, it was salvageable. I saw the extra dust, so I didn't just fling the top open. I opened it carefully and then got the alcohol out and repressed it. This is one of my favorites for great stuff. Beauty Creations. I love Beauty Creations. Elisa. Lots and lots of colors. Everything from this pale one up here to this black one down here. And this is sort of a creamy pink. It's not white. We have white way down here. Mattes, shimmers, little bits of everything. Again, you've got kind of a neutral corner up here that starts going down into other colors. It's not a dead boring neutral. You can find colors in there to play with. Alrighty, now, Kara Beauty Sunset Rush. This was part of the friend package exchange that Nona and I did. 
This thing is absolutely glorious. There are selections of colors in here that you can use to get all manner of looks. I mean, you've got very neutral stuff up here towards the top. And then you start getting into reds and purples. You've got room to work. And nobody says you have to drag out one palette and one palette only unless you're doing a challenge. Okay, this one is Malibu Glitz. I don't know if everybody has heard of Malibu Glitz or not. They're kind of an inexpensive makeup. I've got some stuff from them for several, from several different parts of their lines. I've got some um, blushes and bronzers and then this one particular palette. Now, this one is called Street Ink. I don't know why, but it's Street Ink. It's all mattes. The whole thing is mattes. And there's some very intense mattes. You barely touch them, and you've got colors. But you've got, not it's not just the pop or blue again. Blue, green, yellow, pink. Some brick red. You can find, it's kind of like looking at Dream Street and having all of those shimmers. And then this one's all the mattes. All right, another profusion piece. This is the profusion piece I picked up last winter. It's called Glitter and Glam. Now this one is a lot of fun. There's a lot of really nice shimmers in here. It will hit the glam hard. It is gorgeous. But it's also got plenty of mattes in here to start it off. So you don't have to try and figure out which glitter you're going to stick in the creeks. This thing will cover it. You've got mattes, you've got glitters, and you've got some really, really intensely gorgeous glitters to use for your glam looks. Yes, just getting it on the tip of my finger is not really what you would call a great swatch. Well, yeah, I'm not really doing swatches anyway. Okay, next drawer. Believe it or not, last drawer. Now this one you guys have probably seen before. It's Rosé in the Air by Wet n Wild. No, I don't use it a lot on camera. But I own it, I paid for it, I'm at least going to use it up. My one Sephora piece. They have those little minis, the little mini palettes. This one is called Cookie Dough. I got it because it was on sale and the minis are kind of cheap to start with. And then, you know, I just said, the heck with it. The basic, and I do mean basic, neutral palette. I mean, how much more neutral would you like to get? It's got some mattes. It's got some shimmers. But this is the one that if you're just doing your day, you fling in your purse to freshen up before you come home from work. All right, Face Candy, Face Candy Amazonia. Now, Face Candy will do stuff that you look at and you go, hmm, which one of those fancy palettes was that that looks familiar? Me, I don't know. 
I don't try and match them up. I just look and see and go, oh, look, that looks interesting and run off with it. But occasionally you will run into palettes from Face Candy that, you know, you look at and you go, hmm. Now this one is Bad Habit Aura. This is the Elf Works. <laughs> this one is just called Naked, but it's all shimmers. Dead basic, but it's all shimmers. It's just called Naked. This one is Mad for Matte in the Holy Smokes. This one is Mad for Mats in Jewel Pop. This one is called Nude Rose Gold. Next, we have my two Rimmels. Have Magnif Magnifies Jewel Rocks Edition. Magnifies Rainbow Edition. I have my one Butter London piece that I picked up from the same lady that I bought the Ace Beauty pieces from. I got the Natural Goddess palette that she decided she didn't want to keep. Okay, and we have Bad Habit Lightspeed. Now, I'm told by people who know these things that this is pretty much a dupe for one of the Fenty palettes. I don't know. I haven't ever looked it up. Now, I saved these for last because they're a little weird. When they first had them on the site where I bought them, all they showed was this. They didn't show the exteriors of the palettes or anything. When they got here, I've had to write the name of the palette from the vault on to them because they didn't put the names on. So when I got them and opened it up and was seeing this, I was going, huh. That's interesting. I wasn't sure if it was somebody playing copycat or somebody who was doing counterfeit, that kind of thing. So one of the first things I did was take a dip out of each and every color pot and put it on my body, mostly on my arms, and left it there as long as it would stay. To make sure there wasn't something toxic that was going to rip my eyes out. Now, normally, if somebody is showing something that looks like this, which is a logo that I know, and I know where from this kind of thing came, I won't buy it. Like I said, all I saw 
was the inside of white palettes. You couldn't even really read the names, the shade names. So, yeah. I did not break out. I did not have any issue with it. So, yeah, I'm going to use them. I spent my money. I'm going to use them. Am I going to crow about it online? No. At least not crow about it other than to say, yeah, I've got them. Like I'm doing right now. I am not going to run around and tell people to run right out and go buy these things when it's literally ripping off somebody else if they're doing a counterfeit. I don't know how they got them, where they got them, when they got them. All I know is they got them, now I got them. And I have told people how I got them. And I have told people that when I used a couple of them on my channel, I said, look, this is how I got them. I don't know if somebody had overstock of the real thing or if somebody has ripped things off. I really just don't know. But here they is. Now, let me reset the camera here. See if I can get it back up here to my mug. And get flying back up. All right. Well, if you were looking for a huge collection, you're in the wrong place. I don't own a huge collection. If you're looking for lots more designer stuff, you're in the wrong place. I don't own a lot of designer stuff. All I can tell you is when I'm using my stuff, ah, I actually missed one of the minis. It was in the back of the drawer. Shame on it. It was hiding. Anyway, this one's actually kind of a topper. Back when I was getting ready to do Mardi Gras earlier this year, I saw this and I said, oh, look, gold, purple, green, perfect. Got it here. It's a topper. They're pretty, but it's a topper. I think that really is the end of it now. Yes. I like my collection. It's not a huge collection. But it works. And I do what I'm talk talking about. I go through my collection and look to see if I've got colors that will work to create a look similar enough to the looks that people are getting out of brand new palettes that I can say, no, I don't need the brand new palette. I don't need it because I've got the colors. Works for me. Keeps my, keeps my makeup buying habit in check, mostly. Yeah, I know. Nobody ever completely gets their makeup habit under control easily. But it better. Anyway, if you do start looking at your collection and checking your collection before you buy the latest new palettes, let me know. I want to know what you think of doing it. I want to know what you think of, of being able to check your stuff. Just to see how it would work. Anyway, this has gone on quite long enough. Be good. Mm -hmm.